guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, I'm going to show you how to make Buddha Jjigae. <laughs> this dish has created since American soldiers came to Korea and they gave us all these brand new ingredients, hot dogs, spam, baked beans, and cheese and all that. <laughs> so we had to whoop it up as our style to fit in our taste. And nowadays, it's one of the most popular stew from Korea. So let's get started. First, we want to make the sauce. You will need 6 tablespoons of gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes, 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of fish sauce, 2 tablespoons of rice wine or soju, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of doenjang, Korean fermented soybean paste, some black peppers, about quarter to half teaspoon, quarter cup of water, 2 tablespoons of chopped garlic. It's about 8 to 10 cloves. Whisk everything together. This sauce is enough to make two batches of this big pot, which is three to four servings. So today I'm going to use only half of it. All right, now we are going to start cutting all the ingredients to put it into Buddha Jjigae. First, Spam. So I'm just going to slice turkey Spam about quarter inch thick. Two links of hot dog. I'm just going to slice it diagonal angle, but same thickness as Spam. And quarter block of firm tofu. Just gonna slice it as well. And four to six green onions. Just thinly slice. You know, the city I used to live in Korea called Uijeongbu is really known for this Buddha Jjigae. There's a lot of changes for uh, Buddha Jjigae since it uh, got really popular in Korea. All kinds of places start making a franchise restaurant out there, but the original is Uijeongbu style, which is I'm showing you right now. This recipe is real deal. All right, that's about the order cutting that we have to do and let's assemble. So I'm using this wide shallow pot I have. One cup of kimchi on the bottom of the pot and about two ounces of rice cake. This is optional, but I like to put it in because they taste really good in here. Um, I just soak them in 15 minutes in warm water so they get a little softened. But if you can find a fresh one, then you don't have to do that step. The spam we sliced, the hot dogs, the tofu, breakfast sausage. Yes, breakfast sausage. Just make sure you kind of break down the breakfast sausage because if you put this big chunk, they will just cook like this big chunk. If you have uh, ground meat, like ground pork or ground turkey or ground chicken at home, you can just use those instead. But I'm going all the way. Some green onions and two tablespoons of plain baked beans. Yes! Nobody told you this is a healthy dish. You should eat this maybe once in a year. <laughs> Let me tell ya. But it's so good, you cannot resist it. About four ounces of tangmyeon Korean glass noodles that I soaked in warm water for 20 minutes. Just put them right middle right there. And let's add some mushrooms to make us feel a little better about eating all this processed meat. Half of the sauce. Five cups of Korean ultimate stock. I have a recipe video, so please check it out. But you can also use a chicken or a beef stock as well. So just, just pour in right there. Oh yeah. Now we are talking. And the final touch, a slice of good old American cheese. Fancy it is. Buddha jjigae is always served and cooked on the table. So while soup is boiling and simmering or the meat is cooked, then you start digging in while it keeps simmering. That's how you're supposed to eat. But if you don't have a portable uh, stove, you can definitely just cook, fully cook on the stove and serve as a pot on a table like that. But because I have a portable stove, hello, so I'm just going to serve on the table. To cook Buddha Jjigae, bring it to boil over high heat and let it keep boiling, hard boiling for about 5 minutes. Then you start to stir the soup with your spoon so the sauce will combine with the soup. Reduce the heat to medium, let it simmer and you are ready to eat. Add ramen noodles when soup is start to boiling 
or you can just enjoy and eating a little bit now and then add ramen noodles later when you are ready. If you liked my Buddha Jjigae recipe, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today and remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Young Long Guest and this is Asian at Home and I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah!